Alrighty, my Carolinas and my Lumberjacks and Lumberjills, we have a construction update for two parks today. So we're fortunate enough here at Amusement Insiders to have content from both um, Carolines and Canada's Wonderland today. Now they are somewhat smaller updates. Uh, Carolines at least has teasers to go over and Canada's Wonderland is down to 39 days until announcement day and no teasers yet. Um, so we're kind of on a waiting list. <laughs> Not really waiting list, but we're on a, a waiting spree, I guess we can call it now. It's going on a while for some teasers from Canada's Wonderland. But let's get right into it. So we have a teaser here, thanks to Carowinds fans only, by the way. All the pictures today are provided by them for Carowinds. We have more teasers, and they are now on their second phase of teasing, and they are getting even more confusing. So I'm going to give my thoughts and perspective on this teasing campaign from Carowinds so far, as I think most of it is designed to confuzzle everyone. <laughs> so um, yes, I'm going to call it. Uh, most of the teasing from Carowinds is you're meant to ignore it. It's it's there to throw you off and maybe one or two things from each teasing poster is there as reference to the ride. So I'm going to assume this one is probably a hint to its launch. Um, you can see what looks like track and a strip in between and I'm assuming that might be like the launch LIMs or some sort of launch, whatever they go with for this coaster. Um, for me, that's what I got from this and the lightning is, and the spark plugs were kind of referenced to that as well. Now construction is really going quick. So uh, it looks like they're starting footers today and they're digging in multiple locations finally. So not just specifically grouped together, but you can see them drilling footers in multiple locations. So construction's definitely picking up at Carowinds and this is exciting because they're gonna go full force. And they were a little farther behind than that to Canada's Wonderland. Um, and as a whole, they're really far behind on construction than that to Canada's Wonderland, but um, they're definitely working a lot quicker. Um, so <laughs> they have a lot more vehicles than that to Canada's Wonderland now on the site. and. They definitely have all those drill bits there, so footers are probably going to go full force. You can see a footer marker right there. Actually, it's footing. A footing marker located right there. And uh, yeah, cement trucks were arriving. So definitely going to get right into it at Carowinds. They're going to probably over the next month just completely go mad and go ham on the construction site as a whole, which is super exciting. I can't wait to see this thing take shape, and I can't wait for Canada's Wonderlands and Carowinds announcements in August. Anyways, a lot going on at Canada's Wonderland today. In fact, today was the busiest I've seen the construction site in some time. They were removing everything in the uh, pathway of the station and the turnout of the station, all the cement getting ripped up, all the electrical getting ripped up, everything was being ripped up. And it was just fascinating to see actually. And it made sense as to why a construction wall was set up now. The amount of debris and dust that was blowing in towards the um, queue line of Mindbuster, I was like, ah, it makes sense. That is why the construction wall is set up. If in fact, if you go down and look at the construction wall, it's covered in dust. So it makes sense now as to why they put a construction wall. But as you can see, lots of electrical and rebar and concrete being ripped up in the area we know that they are very close to vertical construction. In fact, at the end of the video for Canada's Wonderland's construction update, I have um, a shot of the storage area and I'll explain why vertical construction has to start ASAP. Anyways, back to this um, construction area. So as you can see, there were a lot of similarities between Carowinds pre-construction and now into the footing construction phase of the coaster and ours back in April and May. And now we're in the footings are mostly done for the station, the turn and the lift hill. So vertical construction is going to start. So anything you see in my Canada's Wonderland updates, you can expect to see on the Carowinds updates in about a month is my guess because they are moving quicker and they have a bigger construction crew than that to Canada's Wonderland. Canada's Wonderland had a very large construction crew over the winter and now they're down to like a smaller team. But I do know another team for the assembly of the attraction is going to be arriving and setting it up. It's a completely different crew setting up the attraction vertically than that to the crew that is uh, designing the attraction and its footings and its, its housing and its building. In fact, they have two construction crew on site. Well, actually three, they have UCC group doing the footers. 
They have Rutherford Contracting doing any of the digging and also footers. And then they have um, Hartwell Electrical on site doing all the electrical. So they're doing the electrical in the tunnel, they're doing the electrical on the pre-lift, they're doing the electrical on the station. It is full force there today, lots going on, but it is harder to get shots of construction now that they set up that wall. But very fascinating as to um, how far they've come on the construction project. I mean, we have footings for about 50% of the ride, if I had to guess, maybe even more. Um, we're missing about, if I had to take a wild guess, 40 footers slash footings. Still probably need to be poured for the attraction um, when I was just doing some basic calculations on the construction site today. Um, counted up the footers, matched them up with the columns that I'm expecting, and we're missing about 40 if I had to take a guess. Um, that and I'm trying to think of what else that I was um, expecting and comparing to what I know. So this is another interesting aspect. This weird housing formation, um, I call it a housing formation, it's not a housing formation. It's either going to be a basement for the pre-lift. It's, it's definitely very similar. So I was there with someone in construction, not for this project, just happens to work in construction. And it's about the size of a very small home. Um, the foundation they're pouring, which is very interesting. Is it going to be theming? Is it going to be a pre-show almost at the pre-lift? And by pre-show, I mean you hit the drive tires and you experience like an animatronic or some sort of like spinning gears or whatever kind of theme they go with with the coaster. Or is it just going to be a basement that, you know, maintenance can go down and it's just like a, a different kind of setup than that to Val Raven, since the pre-lift is actually below ground um, versus Val Raven where it's above ground. Um, so it's a it's a slightly different setup than that to Val Raven when I compare the two. Ours is a lower elevation than that to um, Val Raven, which is very interesting. So here's a better shot of that. So this is them building that like <laughs> house. You can tell they're about to pour cement. So I'm assuming that um, cement or concrete, I forget the right term for that, correct me down below, is going to be poured probably right now actually as I'm recording this video. And uh, on Monday, um, everything will be drying for the pre-lift and they have not much left to do on this side of the construction field other than Hartwell Electrical having to do a lot of work. And I think there are about four to six footer footings away from completing this side of the construction site if I had to take a guess right now. Anyway, so in my previous video, I didn't know what these were. I thought they were different as they were stored on the um, flatbed, they looked slightly different, but this is definitely the transfer track slash storage um, buildings, uh, what do you call them, support structure that arrived. And tonight, I know for sure I have it all, the, I sound so pathetic when I say this, but I have the, um, the it calendared whenever the shipments come. They come every other day to a T, um, excluding weekends. So they come, last week it was they come Friday night and they come Monday night, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So. That's when we begin shipments. They always come at night or between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. they arrive. So I'm expecting mostly um, supports arriving tonight. Um, it is one dude shipping it from what I can tell and then this crane company comes in and drops it off. Anyways, for these construction updates moving forward, on Friday, like we tried in the past, we're gonna have what's called like, you know, uh, an Amusement Siders construction update as a whole on multiple projects going on and as more sites like Six Flags and announce some uh, construction projects like Six Flags Magic Mountain, we'll start including more parks in this. And we will have a progress bar at the bottom at the end of our videos for how far along we think the construction projects are. Again, we're not experts and we're not claiming to be experts in construction projects. We are just taking a wild guess. So I, if I were to take a wild guess, Carowinds is about 10% complete. Again, they're moving really quickly. So this is going to change rapidly and Canada's Wonderland's at about 40%. I was going to put them at 50%, but again, we're missing a lot of the electrical aspect of the ride and they're missing 50% of the ride back in Timberwolf. So a lot's going to change in terms of that. So again, Canada's Wonderland's at about 40% and that's going to come to about a 50% halt um, once vertical construction starts. Um, the ride will halt at about 50 to 60% as they can't start the remainder of the ride's construction project until Splashworks closes. About 50, I would say about 40 to 50% of the ride, probably 40% if I were to take a guess, is in an area that they can't touch until Splashworks closes. So again, we will be stuck at about 60% if I had to guess, 50 to 60% um, progress 
once um, until splash ricks closes once vertical construction starts carolyn's will go rapidly and probably catch up in terms of construction by the end of the summer if i had to take a guess they'll probably be around 50 percent complete by the end of august beginning of september um, mid-September, similar to when Canada's Wonderland kicks in. So they will actually align perfectly if I were to take a wild guess in terms of length of the construction project. Anyways, for you Caroliners or Carolyn's fans, comment down below um, any information you think about the, or speculation you think about the teasing campaign going on. Do you think I'm right? Do you think we need to ignore most of the teasers and just find those little details in there? Or do you think there's more that I'm missing? And then for Canada's Wonderlands fans, how excited are you for our teasing campaign to start? And in what form do you think it will start? I'm now predicting that a, we're 39 days away from announcement, by the way, for Canada's Wonderlands. I'm predicting in nine days, our teaser campaign will start with a 30 day countdown. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. As usual, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't and share the video. Have a good one guys, bye.